Hello everyone, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, we're in Dolly 3. In particular, we're in the Dolly 3 integration with Chat GPT, and I'm gonna show you how to reverse engineer a prompt that we that was used to generate an AI image. And not only that, I'm also gonna show you how you can reverse engineer a prompt that maybe is one of your own images. So like, for example, this one here is a picture of my dog, and I wanna create a cartoon character that looks similar to my pupperoo here. So how would I do it? I'm gonna show you both methods, and this is an example here of a bulldog that was created using that method. So let's just get right into it. Okay, so the first step here is I'm gonna start a new chat, and under new chat, when I hover over GPT-4, you're probably on Dolly 3 at the moment, if this is what you're thinking about, but you actually need to switch to default. When you switch to default, at the bottom here in the prompt bar, or in the little uh, toolbar here, you're gonna see this attach images option. This is very, very important. I'm going to click on this, and this allows me to upload an image. This is not currently integrated with the Dolly 3 functionality that may change at the future. So if you're watching this in the future, hey, hopefully it is. Anyways, here's the current method. Click on this image here. So I'm gonna use this image here of the death of stock photography. And when I do that, before I hit enter, so you'll see here it's added the image, I'm gonna go ahead and and type this in. I'm just gonna copy paste it in, but here's the prompt. It will be in the link in the description below. Provide me with a highly detailed prompt for Dolly 3 that could generate an image that looks just like this. Once I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and click on the little purple doodaddy here, and it is going to give me an example. So here we go, sure, here's a highly detailed prompt for Dolly 3 to potentially recreate a similar image. And here it is, a post-apocalyptic steampunk figure wearing a leather hat, okay, so far so good, and gloves so far so good, holding a vintage Canon camera, correct? to their face, correct, this is great actually, covering everything except their eyes which peer through a skull mask. Okay, look at that, the figure has a scarf draped around their neck, blowing gently in the wind, holy smokes is this good, and set against a desolate field with distant mountains and a cloudy sky. Damn, that is amazing. So what am I gonna do now? I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just grab this, I'm gonna copy it, and now I'm gonna create another new chat. I'm gonna go back to GPT-4 here, but from switching from default to Dolly 3. And now when I'm in Dolly 3, all I gotta do is copy and paste in that prompt and hit enter and see what it comes up with. Now, while it goes ahead and generates four candidates for me, I'll show you one last thing here. Here's an example. Actually, no, let me show you this one here, pardon me. This is a picture of my dog before he went in to get some toughy surgery, and God, he's a handsome boy. He's a little old now, but he's just the loveliest dog. But I, I uploaded this, the same method, and this is an image. This is not AI image generated, and I said, hey, provide me with a detailed prompt for Dolly 3 that could generate an image that looks just like this and it went ahead and it created something similar to this for me. So it's not perfect, but it's got the white and brown and, and darkish uh, brindle patch between his eyes here on his head, and it's got the nice look, and I mean, it's pretty close. It's got his nice dark brown eyes, etc., etc. But anyways, that's just an example. So let's go back to this. It hasn't quite finished it yet. When it's finished, I'll come back. We'll wrap it up. All right, so welcome back. So it did a pretty good job. It didn't quite get the camera angle correct, but it still did a great job and you can go ahead and modify these prompts. So for example, if I like, I mean, number, I guess number one is pretty darn close. I could click on that, take that, and then I can just type in here. I can recopy the prompt, just go back here, copy it, and then go, okay, um, cloudy sky, wide angle shot, let's say, and then re-roll it and then just add in the little bits and pieces that are necessary. But this gets you about 95% of the way there. And that's the whole technique in Dolly 3. Thanks for watching.